can't wait for my loot. I can't wait for my loot. Oh my god, the bag's carrying it so. Like... I'm gonna need two hands for this. Um, okay, this is the first thing I see when I open the box. What the hell? It's in the back. <laughs> Hello, my scribes and filmmakers alike. It is your girl, Pika Lee, and I'm here to give you a little bit of an inside view of my unboxing of the Neat King B microphone that I just bought. I'm so excited about, and I have been using it all week because it's just fantastic. Um, so let's get into what it was like when I got it. So if you find me to be a source as per usual, go ahead and press this over here and here and let's get started. So I tried to do a video as you can see here of me unboxing it, but it didn't look quite as cool. So I thought I would actually, instead of trying to open it at the same time, I would do a separate video of me unboxing it. So I am unboxing today the Neat King Bee microphone that I just bought um, after seeing Podcastages video on it. Um, and is that how you just, is that how you say his name? I don't, if he's watching this small channel, is that how you say your name? My bad. So I watched Podcastages video on this particular microphone after seeing it on his website and um, I just kind of was like amazed by it. It was such an aesthetically interesting looking microphone. And um, honestly, it was highly recommended and on budget. So instead of getting a totally different one, I think I was gonna get the um, Audio, Audio Technica um, PD something. I'll, I'll probably put it right there. Um, I decided instead to get this microphone. And let's look at the cool freaking box. I mean, it's a freaking beekeeper. That's crazy. When I first opened it, I was like, who that? So aside from a really cool looking box, which is actually part plastic and part cardboard, um, I actually was pretty impressed by the way that it comes packaged. Uh, once you open the box, you actually have a really cool um, packing aesthetic here. And once you open it, you've got a whole little nested um, foam for you to put your microphone back into and store it away in this handy plastic durable case. So what else came in the box? Well, I got a really cool velvet bag for it, which I kind of actually don't use. I'm probably going to be getting a padded case for it, zipper case, um, but this does feel really fancy and look really fancy, so not mad at it at all. Like I said, inside you have a nice cutout foam specifically for the mic to fit right into, and that is probably um my favorite part is being able to put it right back in the box the way that it comes for extra protection and just going into it and grabbing it right out the top um, when i'm ready for it because everything underneath is something that i kind of already leave set up so let's talk about this baby the actual microphone itself is really really cool really heavy weighty just the way that um, they did mention it would be. It's really really beautiful though um, with these rubber yellow bands around it and a metal body as well as metal in the back here too for the actual microphone piece. On it it's got an actual pop filter that comes with it. it does really great job on its own without it but an extra great job 
with this baby on. And I love that there's extra room once you put it on to allow most of that breath to not kind of come through to it. And that's like an extra nice little effort that they put into that because usually, um, I mean, generally pop filters do sit off from in front of where um, your capsule is going to be, but I really liked the fact that you didn't have to have one that was so far off that you may bang into and have one right on it that's a little distance away. It's a pretty, pretty nice design and I'm really digging it. So um, I'll show you what else I got as an extra accessory to it. But first, the rest of the stuff that came in the box. It also came with a, a gravity mount or a shock mount. And this is pretty cool. It's basically appropriately sized for um, the square bottom of this little baby here. And I love um, how well it works, honestly. When I saw the review of the microphone, um, I was in pretty impressed by the fact that um, they were tapping on the actual pole, uh, the, the boom arm and everything to see if it picked up anything um, and nothing, not one thing. And I did this test at home as well and not one thing either, which is why I got this uh, microphone in the first place. The noise rejection is fantastic. Now, I don't know much about microphones. I am not much of an audio technician, even though I did work with audio very much so in um, my line of work, working with uh, audio visual. So you would think that I would know a whole lot more than I do. Um, I know the very basics. I understand gain structure and I understand um, some very basic audio um, file things about microphones and the gear that usually comes with it. But um, I wanted something super, super simple to use. I didn't want to do, I wanted to do the SM7B of course. And I decided that instead of spending about three to $400 on it, plus the accessories that came out to about two, three hundred extra dollars that I was going to go with something that was um, somewhat of a plug and play. And this happened to be that kind of microphone, the one that I could use for voiceovers. I could use um, for any extra little project that I had. And I obviously don't use it for uh, my YouTube videos because I don't know why I don't use it for my YouTube videos, but just don't kill me over the audio. <laughs> um, but I ended up um, really saving getting this microphone. And honestly, it looks really interesting and really cool. So I love people's reaction to seeing it. Uh, among the other things that came with the packaging was this little topper thing. I'm not really sure what you do with it, but you know, so the King Bee is really, really great. Um, so far I've been using it and I'll put some samples at the end. I've just been having a blast with it. I mean, I don't have a treated room at all. And I, sometimes I swear my boyfriend's just making noise in the kitchen just to test and see the noise rejection of this thing, but you know, it works great. I've even had helicopters circling and it doesn't pick up very, very much of anything. Um, it's not to say that it doesn't pick up some sounds, um, but also my program does a really good um, job of closing the no noise gate so that I don't have a ton of other frequencies popping in where I don't want them. So getting the mic, I knew I was gonna need a USB interface and um, a bunch of people have completely recommended the Focusrite um, Scarlett. So I, of course, I had to get um, the Scarlett right here and it's a, a two in. This baby does um, the awesome job of taking in um, my XLR audio and converting it in the back to um, my computer through USB. So it works pretty seamlessly. It's a pretty easy install onto the computer. And um, I like that I can control my gain here. So that's what I have. And that was my unboxing of the Neat King Bee microphone. 
if you're curious about this fella here, um, leave me a comment below. If you have used this before, leave me a comment below because there's no better gift than the gift of gab and telling people how you feel about this microphone on your end. Thanks everybody for being with me and have a great rest of your day.